gonna be easy on me this morning? Huh? Can I just walk up and get you? You think? Probably not. beautiful type of morning. I'm Cecilia in Eastern North Carolina and I homestead here with my family. We've got a nice little glimpse of how mornings usually start. It's a little bit later. It's my day off from work so not as rushed. I get to enjoy the whole process. I love time with the goats. Um, so today I need to get moving forward with my raised bed plan. I use the word plan loosely because it isn't much of one. I just have an idea. Like I have a picture in my head of how this is going to turn out. And I'm not sure. So when we redid this side of the barn, um, the panels were something like 14 or just over 14 feet. And we only needed 12 feet. So we cut the ends off. So we have this stack right here of all these ends, and I think they're just over two feet. They're like the perfect height for a raised bed. So, normally you go like the whole length with a piece of tin. What I'm thinking of doing, since they fit together, is fit them together and put a brace there. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna lay them out. I need to look at our scrap pile to see how much of what's there can be utilized for this idea and if I, I don't think I have everything but I'm probably gonna have to hit the lumber store coal pile and just buy a few pieces of scrap it's the long pieces I need I have a 4x4 four four. I think if I cut that I can get the corners out of it like I said it's a loose plan let's see what we've got okay so 
My idea is, I should measure this. Yeah, let's start with that. Okay, so they're about three feet, two inches. So, I should be able to get about a nine foot box out of this and then just have the one side be three feet. It's not gonna be a very wide box, but it'll certainly work for what we need and it'll give these pieces a purpose. So, that's one. So now I gotta look in our scrap pile. What I really need is, so what I wanna do is put a piece, a long piece, nine foot piece across the top that would tie into my corner piece. The thing I'm pretty sure I don't have is nine foot pieces for each side. So I don't even need like a two by four. It doesn't, see something like this, which is what? What do you lumber experts think this is? A one, a one by four? I mean, that would work just fine for what I need. But on the coal pile, it's probably gonna be a two by four, but it's super cheap, so that's fine. And then where it joins, because I don't want it to collapse once I fill it, where it joins, I think I can take scraps and cut them, I think I should have enough so it would fit between the top, kind of like this, and the bottom piece and just create a little more, um, oh my gosh. There's a reason his name is Pavarotti, by the way. That's it right there. So I'm just gonna focus on making one today and kind of see how much that costs me from the scrap that I have to what I have to purchase. So I should only need four nine foot two by four doesn't have to be that if I find something else so I need one two of these and then if I want the end but with the four by four I shouldn't need it so that would be one side I was walking to the truck and just looked over the bed and this is what I saw don't get me wrong it's a swampy mess out there but it's also it's also kind of beautiful lumber mission well shizzle okay lumber mission is a success found what I needed spent honestly I don't know why I'm going that direction a little more than I wanted I was thinking around 20 bucks I spent more like 30 However, they're long enough. I think I will get some other projects out of them. Hopefully that's the plan. But I decided to treat the kiddos. It's been a while, so they certainly earned it. Hey, cave boy. Hi. Want one? Well, that wasn't quite the reaction I was hoping for. Let's try D. Yeah? Want one? Yeah. Come get one. Where'd you get donuts? I don't like to run the lights whenever I don't have to. Um, so I just put the starts out on the deck. Uh, the, the deck gets really warm during the day. Even if it's only 45 out, it's, it's a lot warmer on that deck. So good warmth, good sunlight. They like it, they're nice and strong. And I'm uh, hardening off the tomatoes. Not necessarily the peppers, but I am putting them out. Just, yeah, it's not that much more effort. So we're gonna go in the barn 
and see what we can get done. bit of a process to wrap my head around use the wrong screw the first time it's okay fixed it what I had to do was put the two by four underneath where the pieces of metal join and then stick another two by four under there so it was supported so I could drive the nail into that two by four and then I had to put a four by four over here there we go just so it wouldn't sag I think what I'm going to need to do is run one more small support just to have something to sink into or run something along the top and bottom inside. I haven't got that far. Uh, I'm gonna put the other one up and then lift it and see how that turns out.
it's pretty breezy, so hopefully it's not too bad. But there it is. It's done. Nine by three bed. Not too bad. Didn't take too long. And now that I've worked out some of the kinks, I definitely make some more of those. All right. I decided to bring you guys in the barn because uh, it's getting fairly breezy, and I know that's annoying. And since I don't have a fancy microphone, it's just going to be like for the rest of this conversation. So. Second raised bed build, entirely different design. Um, definitely more out of a consumer product because we used the tin, but we had it laying around, so there's that. We can mill those one by sixes ourselves, which I think would be the ideal way to do it. Um, I would need to purchase more tin. I have enough for, I believe, one more, and I'd like to get at least four built this year. Even if I don't do it right before everything's in the ground, kind of do one more and then add on the next two. Um, we will be remodeling this side of the barn this spring. Um, that's Matt's big project. And um, he's gonna have to purchase more tin for the, that side of the roof. So if he doesn't have scrap from that, um, then I'll just buy a few more pieces. It should only take one 12 footer. And I think they're 30 something a piece um, because how it was cut was in two two foot sections and then they went horizontally so i could just do it and cut it and go this way but since that one is built with the little lines up and down i'm just going to keep going with that it's a little extra work but at least it would have the similar aesthetic um i'm gonna call it a day today was wonderful um i've been trying to make myself enjoy the process more and more and not rush to the next thing because there are many more things to rush to that need to be done. Um, and it was just me, myself, doing this project, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. So, if you get something accomplished today or did last weekend when you weren't working, if you're a working person, or if this is your full-time job homesteading, kudos. Post it down below. Share the uh, springtime excitement as we all get ready. Um, and uh, enjoy the ride. Take care, thanks for joining me, and I hope you're all safe. I will see you next time, bye.